was great. I didn't crash. I didn't get hurt. I had some good exercise and uh, no wardrobe malfunctions. And the no. sun was shining. Yeah, and it did look good doing it. Yeah. So it was really cool. What is the toughest part of this race? Uh, getting dropped and then, uh, <laughs> and then having to catch back on. I'm, chasing is my specialty. Oh, uh, take your pick as far as the dirt hill climbs. I mean, you would you you would stand and you you wouldn't get any traction. You would sit and you'd be pushing 30 RPM, so you really couldn't win. So uh, you would have to take your medicine however you wanted it. And why do you think this race is, uh, why is it better or different than uh, in a lot of the other races that are around? Well, there are two things, I think. One is that it's a 55 mile loop, so you're not doing one loop over and over, which is nice. And the second is the uh, unpaved sections. Just no other race that I've done has that uh, as far as road racing is concerned. It started off with a sort of a odd little loop out through uh, some dirt roads and, and whatnot. It was it was a bit hairy to start with, but uh, once we got back out onto the roads and things dried up, the sun came out, and uh, at that point uh, the pace picked up and, and we got to, to really uh, hurt ourselves. So after that, you know, we got into a lot of rollers, some real steep dirt hill climbs, uh, just really an epic, absolute insanity. And the big question, uh... Are you going to be back for this one next oh, year? of course, you know. It's, it's like bike racers say, oh, I suffered so much last weekend. Uh, I don't think I ever want to do it again, but you always see them, you know. Same guys uh, every weekend. I'll be back. All right, great. Thanks. Thanks a lot, Rob. Thank you.